the new Warband is out, and today we're gonna be talking about the E Raptor. Get it? Because E Raptor? I'm f <laughs> okay, that was just stupid. Anyways, let's talk about the Eruptor. The Eruptor Sniper is the second weapon that you can get from the Democratic Detonation Premium War Bond. It is a bolt action sniper and it fires explosive shots. Aside from its notable explosive trait, it has a whopping damage of 380 per shot and medium armor penetration. I gotta say that I was surprised by this weapon. Like, why would I use a bolt action weapon in a horde shooter? You feel me? But damn, this this weapon does some damage. Like, look at this. It destroys fabricators. The radius of its um, explosive shot is pretty big. I really don't know the numbers or the diameter or what. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I failed math. I am an embarrassment to the Asian population. I had so much fun using this weapon. And I'm pretty sure you will too. The only issue or the one drawback that I really hate is that why do I keep falling on my face if the explosion is coming from in front of me? Anywho, that's enough yip yapping and let's get to what this weapon is all about. Okay, so the Eruptor. This weapon only has one fire mode. It is the semi. It has three scopes. It has 50 meters. 100 meters. And 200 meters. Like I said earlier, this weapon has explosive trait. So every shot that you fire is an exploding bullet. But I don't know. It's, it's actually just a rocket. Let's be real. You can have five bullets in one magazine. And you can reload 12 times before you need to resupply. Against automatons, where most of the time you're taking fights from range, it performs really well. One direct hit for the devastators in their heads, they go down. But if you are inaccurate, you can just shoot them in their body for like two to three times. That works too. For the rank and file units, it's kind of a disadvantage when they are spread out. But when they are clumped, you only need one shot and you wipe them out. You don't even have to hit them directly, hit their feet or the general area, you destroy them. Now for the Berserkers, this is kind of the make or break for this weapon because of its explosive trait. It's kind of annoying because these guys run at you. So you kind of have to master spacing against these guys before you take them down. It only takes like two shots and most of the time they're clumped anyway and you can take multiple berserkers at a time. Against the striders, this weapon just has a lot of explosive damage that they don't pose a problem. Just one shot to their body, their rider just goes down. Now this weapon has medium armor penetration but it's on the lower scale since it's a primary you really can't take down hulks using the traditional, you know, shoot the eye way. So it's literally just shoot the back if you really want to use your primary, but I wouldn't suggest that. Against gunships, I thought I was really cooking with this weapon. Unfortunately, the medium armor penetration is just not high enough to take them down. All in all, against automaton standard units, the gun is mwah. Against the Terminids, I was really skeptical about this weapon. Seeing how bug missions go, how hordes are really really frequent, having a bolt action rifle really sounds like a bad idea. But to my surprise, it's actually really really good. You know how the rank and file scavengers and the soldiers clump up all the time? It only takes one shot and you clear out hordes. The mediums, they are a piece of cake. You know, our favorite bile spewers, they take two shots, if not one, if you hit them into their like little nook and cranny over their head. 
But if you just want to hit their sacks, you just need two shots. And they blow up. Hive guards, brood commanders, stalkers, you just need one shot. They go down. It also helps that even if they have like foot soldiers around them, they blow up as well. This weapon is so powerful to the point that you can actually kill charges with it. A primary killing a charger. I know it's not unheard of, but the other weapon that I know that can kill chargers, the plasma shotgun, it was just so clunky to use. Against the titans, you can probably shoot their butt, the sack thingy, you can destroy it, but you can't really kill them. I don't think it's a practical way to kill them with primary anyway, so just stick your heavy assets. I don't think I need to explain to you why it's a bad idea to use a bolt action rifle to fight the shriekers. They're just too fast for you to hit. But on the off chance that you hit them, the ones that are close enough to the target that you hit, they fall down as well. I almost forgot to mention that you can close bug holes with this weapon. You can also open crates or the cargo hold thingies. But unfortunately, you can't destroy the Shriekers' nests. They are just way too tanky, so just use the other weapons that can destroy them. And that is all the things that I think the Eruptor can do. If I did miss something that you know of, please don't hesitate to let me know. I know this weapon is new and some people are just gonna get used to it. Um, I think it's really powerful and it has a lot of potential for builds. Uh, the build crafters out there that are just waiting for a new weapon to be their toy. I think this is one of those weapons that you should um, try to embed on your builds. My thoughts on the weapon is that it doesn't have a lot of ammo, but still the AoE is just too strong that it doesn't need more. Um, I think it, has, it is in a good place right now. It is strong, but it has its drawbacks like being knocked down. You have to be wary about your spacing. And I guess that's a good thing because I don't want weapons to do everything at the same time. I think most of us can agree. Bro, I have been yapping nonstop. Anyways, guys, thank you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. With all that said, go back to spreading freedom, Helldiver.